Hello everybody out there in guitar land. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jamstack. So about two years ago I backed this project and it seemed pretty cool. So, I mean, it took two years, but it finally arrived yesterday. All right, it came in a box. I, you, you didn't miss anything. So I've already opened it to get everything set up on it. All right. Chris was nice enough to, I guess because of how long we had to wait, he gave everybody a nice case. It's, I mean, it's pretty nice. Well made. Let's unzip it here. So you open it up, first thing you notice is there's a pouch right here that has a bunch of different adapters depending on uh, what kind of hardware you're using as far as your smartphone or it appears you can even hook this up to a computer and run uh, processing software on your computer. So it comes with a cable, you're going to need that or you can use it, it's a quarter inch cable, it looks like you could use any quarter inch cable. This is a nice short one so it doesn't catch on stuff. So that's great. Uh, and I'm the smartphone that I'm using uses a USB-C and that is included as well as one for this one goes for micro USB to USB-C okay we've got one that goes from USB-C to USB which I'm assuming you can attach to your computer I might be wrong here is a I think what is this a lightning port adapter you can probably use that with the, the USB-C because the back of the Jamstack uh, is a USB-C port, period. Okay, comes with, depending on what country you're in, comes with all the different plug adapters for the charger. It comes with a charger. Um, it's sitting in the other room. It's not important. It's a charger. Okay, here is USB-C to USB-C that I will be using with my Samsung Galaxy S8. Okay. It also came with a bolt, grommet, and a carabiner, and for whatever reason, the strap button that you can use with it is with the carabiner. I'm just going to use the strap button on my guitar. It's a relatively good universal fit. Um, it's you'll see. It's it's not bad. Okay. Also came with stickers. Everybody loves stickers, instructions, um, more instructions. Neat. Very neat. Okay. So then we'll get to this side of the case. Ooh. So it looks like here's your phone clip. He also was kind enough. You can see those are all picks. So he, they're just a whole slot for six picks and they all say Jamstack on them. So that's a nice little touch. Okay. And here is the Jamstack unit. It's actually, I mean, I mean, look at it. It's pretty nice looking. You can tell they, you know, paid attention to, you know, making everything fit together well. There's no loose pieces. I mean, there's all of the polymers that they use for the attachment parts and the, the clip and everything is high quality. Alrighty, has a has four buttons on it. Okay, it has a volume that also acts as the on-off switch. It has a button for Bluetooth. It has a button for bypass mode, which is without using a phone processor. And it has a regular button uh, this button right here with the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the one with the, eh, it's, my camera's not focusing, but it's uh, wavy lines to show that it's going through uh, your phone to process. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, attach it to my guitar that I have here. This is a 1987 Strat Plus. Woohoo! Pretty sweet. So you'll take your jam stack, you'll lip, you'll push this button on the back. Okay, right there. Push this button on the back. 
this part pulls out a little bit and you'll lip this onto the strap button, okay? Oh, I don't think this will work very well with an acoustic guitar or odd shaped guitars, personally, because it's just, there's not a lot of, mm, there's just not a lot of space there for it to attach, okay? So you're kind of, you're going to be stuck with more traditional shapes on electric guitars, I would say, like either an SG or a Strat or a Les Paul kind of shape, okay? All right, here's the phone adapter. Um, it seems like you can just put it where you preference. There's actually two different spaces you can put it on. I'm assuming they, they made that too for people that are left-handed versus right-handed. But, you know, if you want your phone up higher right here, you can do that. I like it lower, personally. So you press this button right here. That brings down the lip. And you're able to slot this in. And there you go. Okay. And you uh, can get your phone. Oh. And slot that in. Now, in the instructions, it comes with a QR code, so you can download the suggested software. But it claims to be able to use third-party software. Now, I haven't, I've tried one third-party other than the third-party software that they suggested, and it didn't work, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't. It just means that I don't know how to get it to work yet. Okay? So, let's see here. Last thing is you get your guitar cable, and on the back here is a quarter-inch jack, and then you can plug it directly into your guitar, like so. Okay, so first, let's, this is right out of the box if you're just going to use it without utilizing the processor. Hold on one sec, I just get out of that. There we go. So, there it is with the, a normal Stratocaster. This is how loud it is. It's not as loud as I had hoped out of the box, but there's some things you can do within the software to make it louder. It's not too bad. So yeah, it, it's cool. I mean, right out of the box, you don't, you can use it without a phone, but you're really kind of limiting what you can do with it. And I could see that it being boring after a while, honestly. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Sorry, I had to unplug the USB-C in the back here. Plug it back in. Oh, phone, why are you being so difficult? There we go. Hmm. So the software that I'm using is called Deplike, Deplike or something like that. That's what it installed anyways when I scanned a QR code. So we'll get the phone going. What's going on here? There we go. I got the software running. Okay, it asks you a few questions. Give it a sec, and it should just automatically get going. There we go. So it's not, it's not exactly the uh, loudest software right out the gate. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Another thing, before I start playing, it does have a strap button on the back of it. You know, it takes your strap button to attach, right? So you can still stand and play with the guitar and the dance set. So we'll get, we'll do a little demo here. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So here's the volume. A little louder. So one thing I did notice out the gate with the jam stack is I guess it's probably because the speaker is, I mean, you actually do have to break the speaker in. Like it did not, it sounded terrible, honestly. It sounded awful right out of, 
right out of the box and I was like, oh no. But then after you play with it for about an hour, the speaker starts to break in. They're brand new speakers, so I can forgive them, you know, for uh, that. It's You just got to get it dialed in. And then once you kind of start understanding how to use like some of the software, you can go in here. You can, and you can make it louder. Uh, you can actually make it considerably louder. So there's a bunch of pedals and effects in this software, in this step like. So just turn up the volume. So right now I have the jam stack fully turned up. This is about as loud as you can get it. Alright, so we'll add a little distortion to the mix. Let's see here. Right here. One sec. So it sounds kind of cool. this as, as a tool um i don't i obviously i would probably wouldn't use this to jam like with my band or anything like that but i would use it as something for me to sit around and not be so so loud and i could use it to write songs for my band and not you know make my wife and child go run for cover because i'm being too loud so that's cool and it's nice having all your effects just right here on the phone. The phone clip was a great idea. So, I mean, I think my biggest letdown with the Jamstack, and this is, might be my phone. I, I don't know how a different phone might sound. Is The tone was is not as good as I thought it would be. But it is a really tiny amp, so, I mean, you can only expect so much from... A tiny tiny amp like this okay as far as battery life is concerned I'm not entirely sure how long it can last I haven't really tried um, it is kind of heavy so I'm assuming there's a pretty decent sized battery inside of it because that's usually what the bulk of the weight of modern electronics I mean yeah the speakers may put some weight in it too but with as heavy as this thing is and the outside being plastic like it is, I'm assuming that a lot of that weight is coming from the battery, which is probably a good thing. So you could take this out busking, you know, and you can busk with an electric guitar, which is awesome. So... Final thoughts on it. I gotta play with it more, honestly. I I don't feel like I've really unlocked all the potential of it. I need to get some more software also. Um, is it worth the $200 retail price tag? Well, I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, I've seen a lot worse stuff sell for more that does less, so... If you're looking for something that's portable and uh, just something different that might turn some heads, Jamstack might be for you. So uh, thanks for watching my vid, guys. Later.